Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, grab a seat. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to grow a powerful personal brand using just a phone. If you're watching this video, you either fall into these two categories. You're either uploading family vlogs to YouTube so you can wish your uncle happy birthday or else he won't send you money on Christmas, or you're using social media to upload your stories so you can grow an audience online and who knows, make some money out of it. Now, I can't help you with your uncle's birthday, but I can help you with growing an online audience because I have been there from the start. When I was first starting my channel, I had zero subscribers. I never had any equipment at all. All I had was just a phone and I think it's super Super intimidating to hear the word personal brand because by definition a personal brand is a place where you share your experiences reputation and image on the internet and sometimes to do it right people think you might need a big set but you really don't you really need a good story and a device to do it which is my phone now in today's video I'm not only gonna tell you how to launch and grow a successful personal brand but I will show you how to script film and edit videos to do so if you want to know more all you gotta do is keep on watching hey guys welcome to my channel Channel. My name is Jade and you're in my living room. I hope you guys have a nice snack because we're about to dive right in to scripting a video. In this video, I'll be going over how to launch a personal brand on YouTube specifically, but I have a ton of other videos about Instagram, TikTok, so you guys can check it out in the description bar if YouTube's not for you. Now, when it comes to YouTube, you might be asking, Jade, what do I post? Now, this comes down to your story or your script writing. Now, this is by far the most underrated process for any YouTuber. I've seen tons of growth videos on YouTube, but no one's talked about scripting and I think it's so important. I don't know how many times this occurred when I had a video that was amazing. I went down to film it, then when I edited it, I had no footage and I couldn't make something out of the story. So it's really important to script because then it can maximize your editing time to create a better video. Now, creating a good video is so important. If people don't watch your video to the very end or it's not engaging on YouTube, the algorithm won't promote it to more devices and users. So therefore you might not be getting as many views. And we all know the feeling when your videos don't get views. If feels like you got stabbed in the back and you're not good enough. And that's not the case. It just takes a bit of practice. So let's say some headaches and talk about how you can make videos that the algorithm favors so YouTube will promote it to more users. So for writing a good story, it really just comes down to having a beginning, middle, and end. Whatever you talk about, it just needs to have a story plot. For the really basic version, there just needs to be an introduction, a problem, solve it, and conclude it. That's it. I think we've all learned this in middle school when we we're writing drama class, and it's really the same process on YouTube. The only difference is there's so many categories you can apply it to. So if you are a beauty channel and you're making a makeup tutorial, instead of just talking about your makeup for 30 minutes straight, create a script that outlines the introduction of the video, the problem you're trying to solve, which might be the look you're going for, and creating steps and solutions to solve it and then concluding it with a nice message. A lot of people make a mistake and they just film a chit chat, get ready with me, and there's no continuity or message at all in the video. Now, as those videos are fine, if you want videos that go on the algorithm and YouTube promotes it, you need to think about creating engaging content that people watch all the way through. The best way to create a beginning, middle, and end is actually to watch people in your niche and really figure out what they're doing. So like I mentioned, I talked about the beauty niche, but let's apply it to the vlogging niche. So if you're creating vlogs at school, you might want to search day in the life YouTubers that also make similar videos and see how their beginning, middle, and end is set up. It's really important to analyze other creators as much as yours because you can draw inspiration from people that are in similar niches. And I know what you might be wondering, Jade, what the frick, what if I have no niche? That's okay. All you have to do is just create videos that you like at the beginning. So just name a few creators that you personally like to watch and recreate some of their videos. When script writing, you can literally just document what their beginning, middle, and end is like and make your own version of it. I do this all the time and it's important to understand that in the beginning, all creating is just recreating. So don't be afraid to draw inspiration from people that you love and make it your own. Now, when it comes to scripting, it can look a little something like this. This is an example script that I wrote with my team. Basically, it's three pages long and there's a ton of notes that is jam packed into one video. Now the way you compiled it is the beginning of the script talks a little bit about what the video is about. What are we trying to address here? Why do people care? And why is this important to listen to? The second part of the video, I will go into whatever it's about. So whether it's the vlog or the main meat of the video where I solve the problem, it's going to be most of the video itself. Now the last is the conclusion. It's kind of wrapping up the message. What did we learn and what's the takeaways for people? If you're not creating videos that can follow this line, it's okay. Not every video needs to fit in this mold. This is just a great start if you're especially creating tutorials, vlogs, or anything really in the lifestyle category. So try to follow this template if you're stuck and take a notebook or anywhere you take notes and just 
just write this out before you film. It will make the filming and editing process way more easy. All right, let's go into step two, filming your first videos. A lot of people comment on my videos saying I sound really polished and confident on camera, when in reality, I take 70 million takes and I'm extremely awkward sometimes. So I just wanna let you know the power of editing because you can hide a lot with cuts. Now, this doesn't go to say that I've practiced a ton. If you struggle with saying your ideas and you're extremely shy, do what I did in the very beginning, which is set a timer for one hour. In the one hour time span, you need to stop filming and upload and edit. Like, trust me, it sounds crazy to say, but give yourself a push and almost like pressure to like film. Because if you don't, you're always gonna just say like, oh, I'm not good enough today, or I don't look that great. Just set an hour on your timer and at the end of it, you just have to upload and edit no matter what. I've done this so many times, I would like lock myself in a room <laughs> before and I would be like, okay, I just have to film a video. Because no matter what you do, you're gonna run away from what's scariest, which is sometimes facing your fear of filming. So my biggest tip is to set a timer and just film and no matter what, you're gonna promise yourself you're going to upload because the only way you get better is by publishing, repeating, and just doing it over and over again. That's the only way you can bridge that gap from where you are right now to where you wanna be in regards to speaking. So just my biggest tip with filming, practice, don't think too much, and just keep getting used to uploading. All right, now we arrive to step three, the editing process. Once you scripted, you filmed, now it's time to make the video come to life. Thank you so much, Canon Masters, for sponsoring today's video. Guys, Canon Master is an all-in-one editing app, so you can literally edit all your videos on your phone. I actually filmed a whole video on my phone and I edited in Canon Master. It's super cool because this app literally has everything. They have music, transitions, filters, you name it, the possibilities are endless. For this video, I'm gonna show you guys my secret little tip when it comes to making videos. I'm gonna teach you guys the J-Cut transition, which I've actually mentioned on the Canon Master channel, which you guys can check out our collab video in the description box. But the J-Cut transition is literally the secret icing on the sauce for making videos that are engaging, okay? So essentially, the J-Cut transition looks like this. It's when the audio starts a little sooner than the video. Now, I do this on a very small level where I just start my sentences a little sooner than the video. You guys, the J-Cut transition is my secret weapon and I'm gonna show you how to do it. All you do is import footage that you want to edit, take two clips, you wanna split it in half, and then what you wanna do is basically dissect the audio so the audio and video are separated and basically start the next clip sooner than the video portion. So there should be a little J mark. You see what I mean? And voila, you can do this as many times as you like. And there you have it. Day two. Guys, it sounds really weird, but David Dobrik does this a lot and a lot of YouTubers do it, but no one notices. And it's a great way to practice editing your videos in a very simple manner. It keeps the video spicy, engaging, and there's no gaps. So your audience can't get bored at all. I love this technique. I do it way too much and I'm not ashamed of it. Okay, so with KineMaster, you can do that, but you can also add overlays. And guys, can I just say, I wish I had this when I was first starting my YouTube channel when I was like nine years old, because I remember when I was a kid, like I only had iMovie, and at this time, iMovie couldn't do much. You couldn't add overlays or do any of these cool transitions. So it's really cool to see KineMaster have all this just using a phone, because you can literally add cool little pop-ups to your videos if you're explaining things, or link products on top of your videos. Overlays are one of my favorite ways to also make videos more engaging, because it just spices up the video and I wish I had this when I was first starting because my nine-year-old self would cry. Now, I know what you might be wondering, Jade, don't you have a Sony DSLR camera you shoot on? Why are you talking about shooting and editing on your phone? Well, Bob, you're completely right. But may I tell you, one of my favorite things to do when I'm on the go is filming on my phone. I definitely think filming on your phone is not limited to beginners. Even if you're intermediate or an advanced creator, filming on my phone is some of the most convenient thing, especially when I'm traveling or on the go. Last week I was filming in California and I was doing a vlog. So I was just filming on my phone then editing it right in KineMaster. And it was just so much more simple than having a DSLR to carry. So no matter what stage you are, in the creator field, you can use a phone to do anything. So just wanted to make that clear for anyone who is wondering my personal thoughts. If you haven't already, go check out KineMaster on the Google or Apple Play Store and let me know your thoughts. I would be so stoked for you guys to download it, try it out, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. And again, thank you so much KineMaster for sponsoring today's video. And we're gonna finish up this video with my last and final thoughts. When creating a personal brand, it's super easy to like take this video about how to grow a personal brand and try to follow it step by step and not get any results. I've seen your comments saying, Jade, why is my channel not growing? And I'm like, Sally, it's because you need to be more patient. Trust me guys, when you're first starting out growing a personal brand, there's gonna be a creative gap. From where you are to where you wanna be, 
There's a gap and it's really scary to bridge sometimes because you might be at zero subscribers and you want to get a hundred thousand and that gap is scary to even accept. And trust me guys, I've been there and it's completely normal. So I want to remind you that if you're feeling impatient or frustrated with your growth or you feel like your videos are just not improving, remember to ask yourself this one question, which is how can I improve 1% every single day? It's not about creating an amazing video and knowing every editing technique in the world tomorrow. It's about how can I improve my videos 1% every single day, whether it's it's studying how to do a J-cut transition, or it's watching this video to learn how to script better, or upgrade your editing software and use KineMaster. It doesn't really matter, just always improve just 1% because over time, you'll get to where you wanna go. You just gotta be patient. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked my channel or like me, please subscribe, join the Dharma Nation, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you guys want to be the next comment winner, just comment below, guys. Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much. And seriously, if you have any questions, comment below. I'm here to support you on your journey, and I love you so much. I'll see you guys on the next one.